Guess what? After all, Fred and the Farming in Africa team are not frauds. Today, we received our latest consignment of goats from South Africa. This is the first consignment we've received this year. Last year, we received, I think, four consignments. This is our first consignment in 2023. And today, I want to spend some time and ask some of the questions that most of you have been asking me. How do I import goats from South Africa, from Australia to most countries in Africa? And that's what I want to talk to you guys about and show you the way, give you the tools in case you want to order it yourself or you want to go to the Farming in African team to order your goats to Nigeria, to Ghana, to Togo to anywhere in Africa that you want to start your farm so stay tuned and I'll come your way with all the details of the information that you need to be able to import your goats to wherever that you are welcome back guys and thank you for sticking around because as i said i'm going to walk you guys through how we here at farming in africa import goats and why you should probably order through us because as you guys know there are a lot of frosters out there and i think because of that experience mostly people are very anxious if you've watched the video that we released a couple of weeks ago about a client who actually referred to us as frosters but finally we were able to deliver his goats to him peacefully in nigeria that's why i want to share with you guys so that you guys understand and even if you want to do it yourself or even if you want to order it through somebody else and not us you have the right information to be able to do that before we go into that how did i even get here you know the goal of this channel or my first time being on youtube was basically to share my mistakes and my experience at my farm with you guys so that you have the right information how did i get into goat and how did i even get into importing goat from other countries into west africa i think you all agree with me depending on where you are but mostly if you're in ghana and in nigeria you can realize that the current goats that we have the goat breed that we have especially in ghana in nigeria are basically the west african dwarf goats these goats are very small in size and therefore we do not as farmers get the value that we need after all the investment that we've put into it so if a farmer puts the same amount of effort in terms of infrastructure labor feed and the maximum he can get out of these goats are like 20 kg 30 kg and can put the same infrastructure and efforts or a farmer in south africa puts the same effort the same infrastructure the same capital in the goat and therefore gets a, an average weight of a goat of about 80 90 he gets more value than we do so to me when i decided to go into goat farming and to do it as a serious business i wanted to get the best out of it and therefore with all the effort my time labor construction land all these things that i'm going to put into it i want to make sure i get the best out of it and as i said again you guys will agree with me that the kind of goals that we have here the quality is not the best for me to be able to invest all those resources and so on so i went on a journey on how i can improve those breeds right and if you're into gold then you know that the best goats originated from south africa right a lot has been imported into australia so yes you can find those goats in australia but they were genetically developed in south africa and that is when i decided to bring some of these goats into my farm as part of bringing this i went to south africa met a lot of farmers in south africa right which actually would lead me to my point number one when you want to go into buying these goats number one you need to find the right breeder even though i went to south africa i met a lot of breeders that i have worked with them over the past um year but now i have a whole new breeder right it didn't mean that the breeder you went to meet is going to be you always want to improve as we're doing this we are always learning right so when i was in south africa i met several breeders um that breed goats right so talking to them about how to get the quality goats making sure that the way they raise their goats will be adaptable to my farm because not all goat farmers breed their goat the same way some have them in the mountains like roaming in the mountains and rock and grazing others have them intensively and feeding them just with pallets 
all these informations are very important if you're bringing goats to your farm because you want to make sure that those goats that you're bringing are going to follow the same trend of what you're used to. If you bring an intensive goat from South Africa who is only used to pallet with all the right nutrition, very clean um, environment and all that into your farm in Ghana, Nigeria, Togo, wherever, and these goats are just grazing randomly, they might even eat poison right they they might not survive with with the mud with the dust and so with the heat and so many other things right so all these are important when you're finding a breeder that you want to buy from so number two step number two after finding the breeder that will work for you is to find alliances livestock exporter so not everybody in south africa that has goats can also export to other countries and therefore it is very important that once you find a breeder that is willing to sell to you you also find a lances importer that has the paperwork and is also registered with the the association to be able to ship your goats for you right so shipping of these goats this is where people get really duped i spoke to a customer today who told me that he has actually been promised um 20 goats 7,000 rand. 7,000 rand. Shipping a goat from South Africa to Ghana is somewhere around $13,000. So how can he promise you to give you 20 goats and ship them to you in Ghana for 7,000 rand? That is not possible. So the quote you receive from these guys should automatically tell you whether this person is legit or not. And I know most of you are trying to find the cheaper way I have no problem with that. Please do your research. If you find a goat from South Africa to Ghana at $1,500 and you like it, you're happy with it, that's great. Kudos to you. But don't go and lose your money because somebody promised you that he will give you one goat for $100, $200, $300, and therefore you jumped on board and pay this money the moment they receive the money you're not gonna hear from them again so let's go to step number three after finding alliances exporter from south africa who can ship your goals to you number three is basically the airline you need to ask yourself do they have an airline from south africa that comes straight to your country no matter where you are i know most of you have been um, contacting us from india from different countries asking if we can ship goals to you we would love to, but most of the time, you know, there's a lot of regulations on how many, you know, hours the goats needs to be on the plane. Most countries, there are no direct flight from South Africa there, and therefore we are not able to, right? We have a direct flight to Ghana, and that's why we bring all our goats um, to Ghana. I would love to ship directly to um, Nigeria, but I'm not very conversant with the Nigeria duties and, and, and importation um, law. So if you're a Nigerian and you're watching me and you're familiar with that, please contact me. Let me know. I'm happy to work directly and ship directly to Nigeria or Togo or Cote d'Ivoire but i know very well the direct flight which is six hours so i know in six hours the goats can arrive here you know as they were packed so our recent consignment you know even when they were moved from the truck into the goat crates we were you know sent us video we were keeping track of everything and we knew exactly how many hours these goats really spent um on the flight to get to here right so that is the third and finding a flight that will go into your country the fourth thing is also very important is what are the health requirements right in your country so in ghana for example for you to bring these goats here you need to go you know to um the veterinary service you need to first of all secure a permit right but before you get the permit they will give you all the vaccination requirement that you need to vaccinate or medicate this goat before you even get the permit so we take this requirement we already have that so that's why i was keeping that but we all have all that requirement so we send it to our vet in south africa and basically he does all those vaccinations once that's done we bring the health certificate from the south african vet to ghana they look at it and say okay he has done all of them stamp it and now give us a permit to be able to bring those goats in most countries that is what it, it is like so get to understand what your country requires as a health record get that done in south africa sometimes they might not be able to do it because those diseases are not there and therefore they don't have the vaccinations for that 
but if they're able to do it great they will do it get the report from the vet and then you bring it here don't forget that the airline is going to require you to have that so don't cut corners there is no way to skip that process so get that so that when you get to the airline you can show to them before they actually allow you to buy so the fifth um, point is basically sending all the requirement to your essay vet don't forget like i said the SA vet also needs to give you a certificate as well attached to the Ghana one that you can take um, to the airline to be able to get your good claim. So once you have all this, then we can move on to the seize point. So hopefully you're able to get your goods to the airport and on the plane. The next thing you need is to find a clearing agent for you in Ghana, in Togo, in Nigeria. Most of you that are watching me living abroad have this experience. You have agents that clear your cars and goods for you at the port. The same thing happens at the airport as well. So once it comes here, we cannot clear ourselves. So we have an agent who will then go and start doing all the paperwork. We mostly do it, um, you know, a day before if we get the airway bill. But the moment we get the airway bill, we're able to submit it and start doing it so that we don't waste time once the goods arrive. So the moment the goods arrive they count them they check the paperwork that is attached everything sounds okay then we have maybe two or three payments to make and then we can clear our goal this makes it very very fast for us so now you guys have all the six processes or steps that i go through or that i think you should go through to be able to get your goals from south africa or from any country into your country there are a couple of things that i want to lay down to you guys and the reason why I feel like it's better for you to order true farming in Africa because we have done this for the sixth time or so, right? Or the fifth time, I may say. And we've gained a lot of experience. As I said, even though I went to South Africa to meet breeders personally, physically, check their farm and so on. Over time, I have learned so much from those breeders and have actually decided not to do it with them. Currently, we actually have two vets in South Africa that we make sure that they go to the farm, check the farmers, check the breeders there, bring them to a quarantine room where we quarantine them ourselves. Our vets actually do all their test and examination before even the government vet will come in there to do his and give us the certificate right so there is nothing as important as having a vet actually choose your goats for you these vets understand the conditions that we are in in west africa and therefore can choose the right breeders for us to do it the most important thing which is the second point is the fact that after they've chosen this they also are committed to give us four sessions of support when i say support is before the goats arrive we put everybody that have ordered through us together and we take you all through how to prepare for the arrival of these goats. How is the condition of your pen? What are the things to expect? What are the medications you require? How do you transport them? So we give you all that on a session where I am there, the vets are also there, and we give you all this information for you to prepare before the goats arrive. That is one session. Once the goats arrive, a week after we also come back and also give you all the education answer questions what are the challenges that you're having what are the symptoms that your goats are having you can send a um, picture if you have them videos so that the vet and the breeders all can support you so we do this for the first one month so four sessions because you bought from us nobody does this for you nowhere in south africa nowhere in australia are you going to get this support once they sell to you they are gone and done they've taken their money our goal here is to help you succeed if you do succeed our mission is accomplished and that is why we have set this process over five consignment and with all the experience that farmers are not capable your veterinary officer that you're going to even put these goats in his hands have not seen these goats before how can you trust him with that? And that is why we think at least for the first one month, let's give you the support that you need. The third thing that we also provide to you is basically a medication pack for the first month. So your goat package is going to come with a medication pack that has also been recommended by the breeder plus the vets, the two vets that we have together. So the breeder because he knows the medications that these goats have been on and therefore they can still be on the same medication till they adapt 
right and the vet also know what they've given to them and what plan that we need to follow so that alone is such a deal breaker for us and i think this is very important this is coming from because i'm a farmer i've done that i've lost some of these goats from the beginning and i wish i had this kind of support and that's why we are also offering this support to other farmers we are not ending there what we're also trying to do is to build an online community for pure goat breeders association basically so once you buy any gold from farming in africa you are added to this online community that we have the vet is on forever and you can always post questions there are other people that have bought this gold have more experience and we basically all share knowledge and grow together as most of us are going to be beginners in this and so on the fourth thing is that feeding so once these goats arrive you know they are not used to the feed here we always give you like a bale of brachyria grass that we have stored and feed our goats with dry matter for you to give to these goats and get their body and you know prevent diarrhea from them just going straight to the ground and starting to breathe so we give you one bale of hay for you to feed your goat depending on how many goats you buy we'll tell you how long this bale will last right but this bill can feed 20 goats in a day so if you bought two goats then you know that you have some weeks more to feed um, these goats with a bill so this is a package that from a farmer to other farmers i think is the best to support farmers that go through it because we understand that these goats are expensive and therefore we want to help you protect your investment so we've put all this together over the years of experience that we have and therefore the choice is yours if you want to enjoy all these benefits with that and buy from us please go ahead and do so let us know in the whatsapp number below contact me you can also schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me and i will come your way and explain all that to you guys but our next order has already started we are looking at bringing it in june so if you're interested please reach out to us on whatsapp as i said schedule a time with me and let's talk about how we can get you the right breed for you to start doing livestock farming especially goat farming the right way